Welcome back, guys. Today's test drive is a 1962 C10 Chevrolet pickup. And it does have a 350 under the hood with cold AC, power steering. And this should be a good test drive. We're gonna take it down the road, look for any flaws. You can see the good stuff. So I don't focus on that. I just look for flaws on these old classics. That way you know what you're getting when you get here. If you're new to the channel, you're gonna want to check out maplemotors.com. That's where the detailed description is. 100 detailed pictures, financing, and shipping information. A lot of people call about that all the time. That's where you go. It's got a beautiful bed. Aftermarket set of wheels. Disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear. And don't forget, hit subscribe for daily content from Maple Motors. Right now, we're gonna hit the road, see how she runs and drives. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. I like to look around the truck before we take off, kind of give you a good view. This is the first time I've sat in this truck, getting ready to take off down the road and uh, see how she runs at drives. But let's look around on the inside here. That's pretty cool. I like that. The seat in here looks great. It's in good shape. Uh, there's your AC and it does work. So this truck does start up easy. Got cold AC blowing on my leg right now. It feels good. Place your bets. You think the horn works? There's a little game we play on the channel. Talk about the horns here. Just think. It's a 62 model horn. <laughs> I'll show you the mileage. Showing 89,000. I can't stand by miles on this. Wipers, I believe it's second switch. And they work. They're good. Radio. Oh, it's your favorite song. It's on the radio. <laughs> of course, cold air. You got high there. Off. You can hear the idle come up. And it's just cutting on and off and working. I'm going to leave it on. It's a little warm out here. Horn, you ready? Did you place your bets? That horn works great. Let's open the glove box just to see what's in there. Old manual. I wonder if anybody left anything in the ashtray. Eh, a little loose on the ashtray there. Okay. Let's hit the road and see how she runs and drives. Okay, we're getting ready to take off down the road now. I do not have seat belts in this one. Um, of course, when this was made, there was options there. Some people didn't get it, some people did. This one does have a tilt column. Since we're in the parking lot here, we'll put it in reverse first. Oh, neutral. There it is. Uh, is it in between park and reverse? Neutral. Drive. I'm going to hit the road here. Anything I see, I will let you know. But that's why I do these videos. Let's take off. down the road now. Speedometer's coming up. This truck's going straight as an arrow down the road. Shifting out real nice. All my gauges are coming up. The steering is tight as soon as I turn it turns. It's ready for that kick down. Kick down is hooked up. And is working. Full pressure gauge is slowly moving around. It seems like it's working. Tent gauge is coming up on the dash. Looks like the uh, battery gauge is hooked up as well. And the fuel tank is right around half a tank and it is floating. So it looks like all of our stuff is working right. Let's try these brakes. The brakes are good. Just throwing everything in the cab for It is working on both sides. No need to get gas today. We're good to go. Suspension is 
suspension wise this thing's nice and smooth What time it is we're pulling in the parking lot here we're gonna get some outside shots i'm also gonna lay the camera on the ground drive over light the undercarriage up if you have any ideas that you can tell me that i can make this video better let me know i will consider it in my next video um, i do appreciate those ideas very much and here soon we'll, we should have some merchandise on the store uh, i've been working on that i've actually been studying the uh kind of little bit of graphic design because i can't find anybody to help so just trying to do it myself, learn how to do um, t-shirt designs and all that. I've got a few already, but I'm still kind of struggling. So I need to do some more studying and try to make my own shirts. But I do got some uh, tumblers and like coffee mugs and beer glasses and all that coming out. And I actually bought all of them for myself too, because I kind of like them. <laughs> but look below in the description and you'll see uh, all the gear I use to make this video. Let's do the outside shots. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that truck did that. It wasn't even smoky. Okay, here we go. Getting ready to take off, head back to the lot. So far, so good. Get us a little AC going here. Guy had me scared. Student driver. <laughs> Don't turn out in front of me, student driver. All right, here we go, guys.
nice and smooth. This is a good running and driving truck. I think you'll be happy with it if you come up and test drove it. It's nice and clean on the outside. Got cold air. It's just easy to drive. The engine temperature staying good. It's got decent oil pressure. Looks like it's around 30. It's not an exact readout, but 60 is max, and it's right there at the half mark. So, same with the temp. It's straight up and down. It's right in the middle, and the gauge has been fluctuating, so it is reading. It does have a low idle when the air is on. You can hear it. That's because it's pulling down on the motor, the AC compressor. to the lot now be sure to hit subscribe check out the walk around video and thank you for watching see you later guys all right getting ready to walk around this truck here we're going to point out all the flaws so you know exactly what you're getting before you get here make sure to watch maplemotors.com for detailed pictures financing and shipping options getting up close and personal chrome bumper on the front looks nice and clean along with the grill it's in good shape it's got some decent tire tread on it American racing wheels coming up over the fender down the bottom you got some bubbles popping up in the bottom corner of the door got a little scuff there in the paint a little crack in the paint there up and over the fender a little crack here you also got some cracks there coming back down the midsection the trim looks pretty good You got a little scuff there. Looks like a little spot in the paint there. Some chips. The mirrors look pretty good. Trim looks good around the window. Got the roof up there. Back window's good. Coming around the back side here. Nice chrome bumper. Dual exhaust. Tailgate looks good. The bed on this one looks awesome. Nice and clean. Coming down this side, down the lower portion here. You got some cracks right there in the paint. And right here. You got some bubbles popping up in the corner of the door. There's a chip right there. And over the fender here. You got a bunch of touch up marks that have been added. Looks like they added some paint to it. Right around this whole entire area here. Back to the midsection. Little spot in the trim there. Chrome looks good. Bed's looking good up here. Along the roof line there. 
good shape. Okay, let's go ahead and start her up here. Opening the door. Door's in good shape. Handle looks good. And around your edges. It's pretty straightforward truck, nice and clean. Got a lot of touch-up marks right there at the bottom. People kicked the door getting out. Weather stripping looks good. Carpet's been replaced. It's in decent shape. Seats look good. nice and sound on this one it is shut looks pretty good chip mark right here other than that there's your truck man it looks good look at the detailed photos get financed and shipping information just go on over to my main website maplemotors.com and look at all the inventory that we upload every monday i want to thank you for watching have a good one later guys